live. <laughs> we're live, we're live. First of all, I want to thank you for doing this with me because I know it takes a lot of energy, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of planning. And literally, you are the first one, like my first guest. I've done a pre-recording, but it was like an intro. So you literally the legit, you know, the legit first guest of the show. Cool. So I'll let you do the talking. We connected on Instagram, you yeah. know, and I noticed you're from the UK. Yeah. You talk a lot of stuff when it comes to sneakers. You talk about, <laughs> you, you don't, you, you you keep it real. That was why you're here. Yeah, you are a real soul. You know, you keep it real. And that was why I was like, nah, I need to bring you on the podcast, you know. <laughs> so I, I like that. First, I just want to, you know, I, I want to give you flowers on that because not everybody are genuine to talk their stuff. Everybody, you know, get keep and do some other stuff. But, you know, you talk here as it is. That, I like it. So I I'll, let that, you, I'll, let, I'll let you do the talking, you know, let the, you know, anyone that's listening to this podcast anywhere in the world to know about you, to know what you stand for. And from there, I'll ask you some full questions. So, yeah, cool. Um, listen, well, appreciate that. Honestly, no you know what I mean? Um, yeah, my name is Patrick T. Um, I'm on Instagram at Patrick T for real and YouTube Patrick T. Um, I would say I would now class myself as a sneakerhead. I didn't before. <laughs> I just love sneakers, you know, okay. and you, you have friends who have got more sneakers than you, you know, and they've been in it no more than you. So you... You always think you're never on that level, but yeah, I, I mean, I like, I like, I like kicks, like sneakers, like trainers, whatever you want to call them. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, but I am that guy who I don't think I'm a hype guy. I like some hype kicks, but I do like Same kicks here. what are not out there. Do you know what I mean? I, I you don't like up, seeing kicks on someone, what you want to rock. You don't want to see it on someone else's feet. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you. That's like the, I say that's all the, the time. Like yeah. I don't want to go out and be with ten other people wearing the same kicks. Do you, do you know what I mean? I get it. So, yeah. yeah, that's definitely me, man. But yeah, um, yeah, just you know, so how, long, how long have you been collecting? Do you know what? I probably collecting. I wouldn't say I'm a collector. I would say more like I'm an enthusiast. Okay. So I buy what I like. Yeah. Because I've got, I've worn. So I wouldn't say I'm a collector. I just say I like sneakers and i buy sneakers but i've been doing it since since my first paycheck as a teenager really if i'm honest with you you know your, your mum buys your kicks don't you and they're limited to if you need them um how much they are and that's it you have to need them and they've got to be in their price range <laughs> you know that's yeah. you're not getting any you're not getting extra trainers you know you've got one and that's it so, so uh, I noticed yeah. something. So in the UK, they literally call sneakers trainers. We call trainers, yeah, yeah. But it's like you guys might sometimes shy away from calling it trainers and you just call it kicks. Some, yeah. Do you know what it is? It depends because sometimes you have that thing like, like you might go to America and you mm -hmm. speak because we speak how we speak. Yeah, people so, don't really understand so us. I, I'm, I'm let you know. I can literally understand you. I can understand you because I'm from. I, I was born and raised in Nigeria, so right. we have that, uh, Euro, that UK European English. You know, there's yeah. European English and American yeah. English. So I yeah. can. I'm like on the fence. I can relate to someone that speak America. I can relate to someone that speak British English. Right. So. so so you know, so sometimes you go to America and you say like you we will speak and they'll say we don't understand you. Understand, or, yeah. You know, so if I went to America and I say like I want to buy some trainers, they were like, What? What? Yeah. So you yeah. say kicks or sneakers, sneakers or yeah. you know, so they can understand you in a sense. So mm -hmm. when I do like my Insta, because I know it goes everywhere, everyone knows sneakers. True. You know, but if I'm with my friends, we'll literally just revert back to trainers. Trainers. What trainers have you got? What trainers? Yeah, when you you're locally, you just call it trainers. Yeah, but yeah. When yeah, you yeah. like, talk, talk, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you might say kicks, you might say sneakers, but okay. locally, we just say trainers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So my next question is, what kicks do you know that is like the number one kicks in, let's say, in Europe, or let's literally say in 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 UK? UK, because yeah, they are mad over anything edge of the one. Don't get me wrong, edge of the one is a global thing. Yeah, you know, yeah. but there are some different uh country, different places, 
like let's say American right now, I'm in Maryland, but right. the Maryland is called like a DMV. DMV, okay. DMV literally means DC, Maryland, and Virginia. So okay. those three states are kind of connected. Like it's not right. 30 minutes drive, an hour drive. So in the DMV, there's a sneakers that like the new balance 990. Yeah. Like the staple sneakers. You know, right. like, the, like the foam posit. Yeah. It's like the staple sneakers that they wear in Baltimore, DC, and you know, Virginia. Yeah. So now going back to that, there's like New York, which is Air Force One. The option. Okay. You know, don't yeah. get me wrong, it was Baltimore that brought it, but New York took it to another level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So my question, my question to you now is like, what was that sneakers in UK? I yeah, would say the UK, it is Air Maxes. Like Air Force Ones have their had their thing, they still do, because mm -hmm. at that time they were the cheapest sneakers. You could pick up Air Force Ones back in the day for like 50, 60 pounds. So wow. if you ruined your white Air Force Ones, you could just go and buy another pair, you mm. know. Mm. But the staple one would be Air Maxes. So you had Air Max Ones, three, well, or Air 97. Max Nine. Like, we, you know, ninety five. We called one ten in London. You call it what? One ten. One ten. Why do you call yeah, it one ten? Because they, they cost one hundred and ten pounds. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Literally. Okay. So that's that. You know, in London, I know, I, like. I got a friend on a podcast I do um, called Aiden, and he's from Preston, up north of England. Okay. And they didn't call the one tens one ten like ninety fives one ten. They called ninety five, but they called uh, I think they called another sneaker the one ten because it cost one hundred ten pounds a day. I can't remember what it is, but in London, the one tens were the ninety fives because they cost one hundred and ten pounds. Wow. So you know, That's it was a big deal back then. Dude. The train was mm -hmm. over a hundred pounds. Like wow, you know. So. Yeah, Air Maxes um, were the trainers, I think, for us. Because we don't, like, we like basketball, but we're not a basketball nation. The basketball boots are just a bit, maybe, I would say they're just a bit too big for what we do. And I, I get what you're saying. Like, it's like, it's literally soccer, football, right? They call it right. soccer, yeah, but it's right. football. But football, yeah. they wear cleats, so it's not like there's, like, yeah. a lifestyle. They only we call wear... them football boots. <laughs> yeah, you know, they only work exactly, but basketball, you can literally wear some Kobe's, you can wear Air Jordans just to hoop because yeah. those even F Force One is like a is like a basketball shoe, yeah, that, that, yeah. that went into yeah. lifestyle, yeah. You know, I Dunks so. is basketball shoe. I, I would say, for like, in, I, I can only speak for myself in my experience and my mm -hmm. people, my friends, who are we never really went for mids or highs because it just didn't sit with the, the way we dressed you know so the lower trains air force one yeah air force ones air maxes so edge of the they, one lows yeah 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 all those you know they, those are ones if you was into skateboard it'd be sbs you know it'd be mm -hmm. that um I, I wasn't even into skateboarding. I didn't really like them. So I wasn't like dunks for skateboarding. <laughs> you know, I, I I love skateboarding so much to the point that when I came up here, I was like, yeah, I'm going to skateboard. You know, I bought all the skateboard. I bought the training. I, I have the shoe and all that. And then I started going to the pack. Like I was going to the skateboarding pack and I saw people just busting their, you know, busting their ass, excuse me, with like <laughs> crazy stuff. You know, the injury was severe. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> I was like, damn. And I just came up to this concert. I was like, nah, I can't afford LT shirts right now. <laughs> I'm going to just keep watching YouTube videos. Yeah, you know? I mean, so, I was never a skateboarder. I was, I didn't have the balance. You know what I mean? Yeah, it yeah. I mean, I have the courage, but I was just cruising. <laughs> but I was like, nah, my mom is back home. I have nephews back home. I, I, you know, if, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I got myself injured, who's gonna look out for me? And I can't even afford this health insurance for crying out loud. You know, so oh, I was like, nah, I'm gonna pass funny. on it. But my friends know me. I have anything that has to do with skateboard i have the i have the trucks i have the board i have everything i've been skateboarding cruising around but when yeah. it comes to the actual stuff you know <laughs> I, i'll just sit back like okay you all got it you all got it i'm good you do your thing yeah 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 <laughs> whatever works for you know whatever works yeah i mean so, that's why i was never really into dunks because over here they were what the skateboarders wore dunks and you know like a 
the SBs, and I can't remember half the names what mm-hmm. skateboarders, mm-hmm. you know, but those are the kind of shoes. So for UK, I, I would definitely say that Air Force Ones was a big thing and Air Maxes, just mm-hmm. all the ways, whatever they were, Air Maxes. You know, we, we we liked our Jordans, obviously, you know, but if you was gonna like if you walked into any shop now like JD Sports, you'd probably see there's more Air Maxes on the wall than anything Dan else. Jordans. You I know what I mean? I you know? It. So I got it. yeah, that was the UK staple, I would say. Okay. There's so, gonna be people out there gonna be different gonna differ from me. Yeah, yeah, everybody got different experience. That was why it? that was why this podcast is set up to people for people to talk their truth, you know, to talk yeah, their yeah, own experience. Yeah, it's not about yeah. other people's experience. And like you said, you said you're into shoes because you want to wear it, yeah, because you love it, you know. Yeah, don't get me wrong, some people are into the culture to invest, you know. Yeah. Like it, I won't... it's crazy because I remember like we don't grow we, we weren't born into a rich family you know Serious. so for you to get new kits that either had to be your old ones were ruined you grown out of them and you know they, you, you needed them the word need was need. The, the key yeah. thing Is not need. want need, need yeah? yeah and then you'd get them so you know you take care of your stuff you know the reselling thing was a mad thing to me because I'm like well why would I buy someone's old trainers I want the new ones. New ones, yeah. You want it fresh. Yeah, we, you want to smell it. You trainers. want the papers. I want fresh. You want to, you want to see the box. You yeah. want to do unboxing. You want, know, want to smell it. All that stuff. <laughs> you want to see the label. You want to see your size. Like, oh, yeah. okay, this box is different. Oh, this box. Right. And so when you when you bought your trainers, it, the, the, the idea of buying them to get to sell them to someone else just didn't make sense to me. I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean they're worth more? Like it didn't comprehend that it could be worth more. Like the supply, the demand, the supply, yeah, the demand like is like it, ow, ow. You work so hard to get them for yourself. <laughs> you know? True. And you know, if like maybe I just didn't have that entrepreneurial mindset. Like, and you know, maybe that was, but you know, like you, you go out there, you grind, you make your money, you buy what you want for you. True. So you know? let me tell you a little story, right? So when I came up here. I used to go to like Ross, Burlington, TJ Maxx. I don't know if you guys have like discounted. We got stores. TK Maxx. We know TJ yeah, Maxx. Yeah. yeah, So TK, oh yeah, it's TJ Maxx. So I used oh, to okay. go to, I used to go to like discounted stores. I used to see like Air Force Ones, Mat- material another level, one hundred, good quality material, bro. The material yeah. is insane, and it's just gonna be sitting on shelf, price down, you know. So I started getting into, I, I, I have love for sneakers, but I won't say yeah. like I was in the culture, but I was, I like sneakers because my first sneakers was like Adidas uh, Superstar, but it's Big not stars. like, yeah, 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 but, yeah, but it's not like this recent Superstar. It was like a chunky one. It was yeah. big, okay. it got fat tongue. It was like a skater Adidas Superstar. I can't find it anywhere else. I look up on it. I can't find it. I check it on gold. There's no price on it. Wow. You know, I, yeah, and I don't know wh- what I do with the shoe because yeah. back then I was so young. So backtracking right now, my first shoe that I used my own paycheck to get was a Puma. The Which Puma one? Thunder, the electric yes. Thunder is the first shoe that I used my paycheck to buy. Okay. You know what's fun about it? You see, when I told you about it, you were like, what shoe is that? Yeah. That's what excites me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's cheap, bro. It's like 100 on 100. But when I tell people about it, like, this is my first sneakers. You see the mischief, uh, the double shoe, like, that you can yeah, wear. Yeah, yeah, the back of the falls and backwards one. You see? Yeah. Do you see that color? Oh, yeah. You, you see? These these have been released since 2019, bro. Wow. 2019. Yeah. Yeah. I bought it together. That was my first paycheck I ever got. I bought it with this. Yes. See, I know those ones. These the like Irish. These for these for these. This is what put Puma back on the map for me. Because they 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 hit out big chunky, all different colorways, everything, and then you start looking at Puma again. You know what I mean? Because they, they mm-hmm. just they just went they flipped it on the head and bought those out. I was like, you know what I mean? And I yeah. Think, so. Yeah, so th- those those are the shoes I use my first paycheck to buy. So let's go back to the shoe I got on discounted because when I came up here, I got like 
150 dollars with me so i was like yeah i'm gonna buy everything i was feeling like the king like oh yeah he's gonna... when i got I was like it's nothing when i went to ross I, I spent I spent almost like a hundred. I got only fifty dollars with me. And my cousin was like, "You see now, Abi, he was he's Nigerian. We, I'm Nigerian. Right? You need to start working. You better start yeah. working. You know." So I started working. I, I got I got when I got the show. I got an A6, the Gel Light. Asics, yeah, yeah. The Gel Light three or two. Gel three. It was yeah. pink, and I yeah. got the Air Force One. Uh, low, it was. I haven't seen that Air Force One elsewhere. It was like Air Force One red, upper, okay, but it also is like gum and the miso is like white. Okay. And the, you he, got, he, he got a bungee lace, okay. How I, I haven't seen it nowhere, yeah. And I gave it out, I sent it back because when I wear shoe and they are losing sh shape or form, I send it back home, you know, okay, for anyone that want to wear it. So, yeah. what, what I want to talk about right now. In UK, right, you have the privilege to go to stores and be like, I enter a raffle, eat on your sneakers, right? Our year two is the same. Let's say in India, they do that too. In South, South Africa, they do that. And Australia, probably other country, but I'm from a country that is like a third world country, right? Yeah. We don't have that luxury. Wow. Okay, well, so you don't have you don't have like we don't have that. that. I don't. I, I right now probably they're trying with some few shoes. It's like shoes shoes that nobody wants out here. Is the right. shoe they are retailing back home, and it's right. like if a shoe is like one eighty, they're retailing back home, but nobody wants out here. It, literally, it's gonna go on clearance, right? So you can yeah. get it for less. So either way, it still doesn't make sense. Right. You know? So my point right now is that. When we talk about all these secondary market like stockers, gold, yeah. you know, eBay. we wonder like the supply and demand. Where is it coming from? If if say like let's put it this way, say like they release, let's say a kick what you still can get. No, all right, let's a recent one, the Jordan Four SBs. Okay. Yeah, the pine green, you know, the SB Jordan Fours for the skateboarders. They release those. And say so you didn't hit, you didn't get them on any apps you went into and whatever, but you really want them. Yeah. There's people out there who will say, I'll pay, I'll pay a hundred pounds more to get them. Mm -hmm, true. You know, there's people out there who pay, I'll say, I'll pay 200 pounds more to get them. So that's the, that's the demand. And obviously if you've got the shoe and there's no more supply, then you can bump up that you can demands there. You can make your own, write your own kind of check to, mm -hmm. to an extent. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's where it is. What you do find though is, um, I, you know, I could be wrong on this, but the supply and demand stays within the country. You know, no one really ships out because, especially in the UK, like, not, like a lot of people won't talk about it, but Brexit has mucked up a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, true. Like, you can't ship stuff to like France or Netherlands, the tax is going to be crazy. So, you can't import, export, make it, it sometimes it'll cost you more than. The kick itself, mm -hmm. you know. So you're finding that um, we're becoming the island we are. Yeah, I'm listening. Okay, yeah. So you're you're becoming the island we are. So if anything's going to change hands, it's going to be within the UK. I can, um, you know, USP it to someone up north or down south or whatever. But there's no way that I'm going to ship a trainer to USA or Africa, any any country in Africa. I'm not going to do it because it is one it might. They might pay for the shipping, but they're going to say, well, it's going to cost me $150 to ship it. I, so why am I, I going to do I it? I literally can understand you because I buy shoe for people in Africa and send it, you know, yeah. and I, I ship to France, I ship to UK. I got my sister in UK, so I'll I, I be shipping. So I understand what you're saying. I've yeah. Like sometimes I use my home personal money to cover stuff. <laughs> I'll be like, what? why did I do this? Why? Why? Just because I'm trying to be nice. Why? You know? Yeah. So, so I, I so think I, there's always going to be a demand for trainers, what people didn't get. And I think that's where the raffles and these things make their money. Because the, the psychology of it is you're actually begging someone to take your money. True. That's the psychology of it. You think about it. You've earned your money and you want to buy something, but they're saying to you, mm, wait there, I might give you the chance to give you to make you give me my money, your money. Mm -hmm. What kind of weird is that? If you walk to a restaurant and they said to you, no, you can wait and then I'll take your money. You'd be like, I'm not eating here. 
<laughs> but that, way. that was why Nike is cool, though. <laughs> it's crazy. Nike, yeah, is 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 the scarcity and the that's that's it. You know, that's it. That's, that's why everyone's cool. gone down that line, haven't they? Even the shops, the but, retail shops, have gone down that line. True, but we, we we have a power we don't know we have because at the end of the day, if we're not giving them that money. Well, and I think this is, you know, it, 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 when you look at things now, like recently there was a thing um, saying that Nike are reshuffling their executives because um, they need new innovations into their mm, line. Because, because stuff are not selling out. Right. And the fact is, stuff is not selling because one, like cost of living is, it's horrible ah, right, for people. Yeah, every, you know? everybody's fine. But two, you cannot give me a Jordan 1 costing £200 when yeah, a year right. ago it was 140 True. And should I add the three for you? The three, the reps are doing way better shoe right now. The Mate. reps are doing way better shoe right now. So most, you know, you, you're an OG, right? I'm, yeah. Let me say I'm right beneath you. But this other generation coming, they don't care about, oh, I'm keeping... They just want to wear their shoe and go get, you know, most Listen. of them are on, on, on a console playing games. They don't care about like, oh, it's fresh. Oh, I'm going to resell it. They just want to wear that shoe. I've now, seen, I've seen, and it, and, I, and I'll say I've seen more of it. I can't say where, but I've seen more and more, more and more of it on YouTube, on Instagram, things like that, where people pulling up and say, the black Travis Scott's, the Jordan 1 low black Travis Scott's. Mm -hmm. And they say, no, you've got the Travis Scott's. And they go, no, no, they're reps. And they don't care. Confidently. They don't they care. Do that back then because they're going to clown you because, yeah, they're going to yeah. clown you. But, but now, those it's like... Are costing up, those reps are sometimes cheaper than retail price and much, much cheaper than retail price. And exactly, you know, you look at those things where they say to you, like, like I, I'm watching quite a few of them recently as well, where they sit down and say to you, "This is a fake, this it's is real,", real. and you look at it and you're like, "I actually like the fake one, look better." One. Yeah, the, the, this, <laughs> you know, it's like it's like the fake one have their old. It's like the fake one went to the website Veggie Make on how to bridge your old brand, and they just implement all that stuff in their in their you know in their craft because I, I, they're. I saw what, yeah, I saw one the other day, and it was that the. Talking to Jordan for SBs and the material, like obviously, I'm just watching yeah, on a um, thingy. I'm, obviously, I'm just watching on YouTube and I'm not, it's not face to face. But when the images they were showing me, the material looked better on the reps than the originals. Crazy. And I was like, wow. And the guy who was doing it, he said, I will be wearing these reps out. I'll keep my originals, but I'll be wearing these on the street. So even then, he's like, I don't care. So it's getting to a point now, like that's why you do see Jordan sitting now, you know. Yeah, you, and you I like see. it. It's the price. I mean, I had a friend who does not buy Jordans anymore because of the price. It's like no, you know, because me buying one Jordan, I can get more believe, you know. But if I bought two Jordans, uh, like, sorry, buying one Jordan, I could probably get a decent Air Max and change. Exactly, but we're having this conversation because we love wearing the shoes. You need to know there's a lot of people capitalizing on that, you know, on the shoes. Yeah. I, so, I like I mean, when we had lockdown, um, I think a lot of people capitalized, you know, you could buy a Jordan I, one I, I, and I, you could sell it for 200 200 percent profit. Easy. I, I, easy. I bought I bought uh easy slide for like sixty dollars, I guess, back then. I yeah. sold it. I sold it for two fifty. I yeah. bought the easy, I bought the easy foam runners, the one that says made in USA. The yes. Ararat. Yeah. I bought it, I think it was retail for $60, I guess, also. Yeah. So, yeah. I sold, so, that, yeah, yeah. I, I sold it for five something. This is what I'm saying. This is you what know, I'm saying. You know, because I was it's, like, why would I wear this shoe when it's going for this price? And I can sell this shoe, make quadruple triple. of the money, quadruple, feed yeah. myself, pay my house <laughs> rent, pay my insurance. I still send some money back home. Yeah. I'd rather settle for a shoe yeah. that I know I can beat, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, listen, it's just it's just the way things are. I mean, 
I mean, like, and this is the thing, you you know, if they up the retail price, then obviously that reduces the profit price in reselling. Price. Yeah. And then people go, is it worth it after you do the fees or StockX or the fees on eBay or whatever it is, you know? How much am I really making off of this? And, you know, you have to be into it to make yeah, money. Most but, you know, you're not making a £100, you might make £20, you might make £30, you know, and yeah, it's and not that, really... It's not really it a profit. Because your right, energy, exactly. your time, your exactly, you, you know, all the stuff. I, I can know, I can understand that. I can and, understand and that. And this is why I'm saying the retail price has definitely affected the way people buy things now. Like those those, you know, like I'm not even funny, two years ago, Instagram was full of resellers. True. It's new people that like people you didn't even know knew about trainers were were all of a sudden trainer plugs. <laughs> yeah, and you're true, like, but what? yeah, and you're now right. They're gone. They're gone. You're right. You're right. I won't say they are gone. It's like the the no, went. To... I would say it's gone back to what it used to be. It used to be. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, Not yeah, gone. Yeah. Yeah. But I, you know, we are people that adapt to stuff with time. We don't know what else is gonna come, and no. it's just that a lot of people are tired of Nike. That's the problem because <laughs> a lot of people are tired of the sneaker app. That's why you see Saleh Benberry selling out. You see J Tip selling out. You see Joe Fresh because a lot of people are tired of Nike. Right. And uh, like <laughs> we have this fun argument. Like, I don't like New Balance. Okay. Well, now when I say I don't like New Balance, I don't like the old style New Balance, the 550s, the like, you know, the, the but, old men's trainers. True, true. But what New Balance done, and I will say this to everyone, when they decided to remix a trainer, they got the young people in like Celebrity. You know, Joe Joe Fresh. Joe Fresh, yeah. Joe Fresh good. And they remix those trainers. They put something on them. When New Balance released the nine sixties, the ninety sixties, the new, mm -hmm. the new GRs, what they wanted to do, the, sorry, the five fifty, the protection pack, and all that. Right. So they released those. Yeah, they released the protection pack, and they redone them, made them look, and it looked great. But mm -hmm. then they done when they done their um, general release of the new silhouettes, what called the ninety sixties. I got a pair. I'll, I'll bring. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. The first thing they done was put Joe Freshgood on them to do a remix on them. Hmm. so everyone's like oh so joe fresh good it looks different whatever and then they released it and a general release in all their own different colors so it kicked off so they fought out the box you know when Nike just said we got travis scott you can do our jordan one yeah it's, it's, it's mixed up and it's it does look good and you do your thing and whatever but they haven't given him a new trainer to do oh do you see what i mean that's mm -hmm. why the people are getting bored of night like i didn't even they try can easy when it comes to Adidas with easy, that's just like a whole disaster right now. Well, because when they drop, you see, they were like no return because they don't know. Did they did so in England, they did 14 days return. Oh, they did 14 days return, yes. Oh, yeah, days, it but was it used no to be return. 30, it, used to be, it used to be 28 days. Oh, yeah, it was no return, no days. Wow. Once you get it. Is yours. You can't return it. Wow. You're selling or not is yours. <laughs> you can't wow. return it. They yeah, guarantee their money then. <laughs> they don't want to take a risk. Yeah, because they don't want it back. You know. Yeah. They don't want it back. And when when you said they did fourteen days in UK, probably the law out there is different, so they can't really because they're, yeah. they're in Europe, so they can't really you know. Yeah. Do that. So my my point is right from the get go, New Balance don't really care about hype. No. New Balance have been a brand that because New Balance is made in UK and they got some made in US. So yeah. New Balance be like, you either pay that 180 or you just go. But the thing is that I would, and I'll always say this about New Balance, like I haven't been their biggest advocate, but the quality of their kicks is mm -hmm. phenomenal. Adidas, New Balance quality is out of here. They got yeah. the quality. But because how many, how many Jordan, how many Jordan ones have you bought and the the, the the lever they use on one is completely different from the lever on another. You got one with Broderick, Broderick uh material, and you got the other one like looking like a plastic, like paper, like <laughs> you know. And it's so crazy that the one looking like paper, the value is way higher than the one looking like. You know, I'll be like, how? I don't understand this. How? It's, how? It's I all. It's it's like a lottery. It's like a yeah, lottery. You, I you, don't but, understand you, it. And you and you hope. That material is good. You hope that they they put some effort into it, but you know the price is always going to be the same. Same, true. 
and yeah. it, and you and, and you get tired of it, you know, yeah. you know. So yeah. it's crazy. So do it's you crazy own thing. do you own any Crocs? No, no. I refuse. You see, you see, you see that's the problem. <laughs> it, I'm not trying to shit on OGs, right? I'm not trying to be like, oh no. But let's let's talk about this, please. I want us to talk about. Come this. on, then. Let's go. Let's go. Let's talk about this. Why does OGs hate Crocs so much, bro? They're they're clogs. They're clogs. They're clogs with holes. You know, but people, they're comfortable in, though. People, people in Amsterdam must be sitting there going, "We already had these, but we made them out of wood. Someone done it out of rubber." You know, <laughs> I I hit. You know what is? I think Crocs are the killer assassins of trainers because everyone <laughs> I know who has put their foot in a Croc doesn't want to wear trainers anymore. <laughs> Crocs is like it's like the sneaker AI. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally like the sneaker AI. But I, I'm, I, I'm gonna admit I'm scared to put my foot in a Crocs because I might like them and you, then I lose. No everything doubt else. you're gonna like it. No <laughs> doubt you go you you, you 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 know what's right. It's go, you're gonna like it. I've, I've been got, wearing I've, got... I've been I've been wearing Crocs like let me tell you my how I love Crocs and how how I got into Crocs. So, like I said, I'm from Nigeria, right? Lagos, Nigeria. Okay. There's this Bozu and Ozu, like, there's, like, this public transportation. It's called Danfo, right? So, I used to wear, like, because I can't afford shoes back then. My uncles and my aunt, our year used to send me shoes. But those shoes, I used to keep them. We call it end-of-the-year party, but it's called yeah. prom night. It's called prom night, yeah. I used to keep them for that time, like, oh, when there's like a party so my go-to shoe back then was crocs right so i used to wear crocs I used to have different you know it wasn't like right now that like, they have a lot of collaboration back then it was yeah. just straight crocs it's just yeah. different colors blue yeah. yellow yeah. you know and i used to wear them i'd be like yeah this is comfortable and people used to compliment on me because they don't really sit you know yeah. so i used to like go on the street enter bus and so now, backtracking right now, I came out here, I bought my first Crocs, right? For like $80 or $70. I was like, damn, this guy is kind of expensive though. Like, I thought it should be cheap. You know? <laughs> I was like, oh, they were like, it's, it's expensive because it's the healthcare workers that, re that really be wearing them that much. So it's like essential yeah. to them. Yeah. It's like, they're recommended. Uh, yeah. Okay, no problem. Since it's comfortable, I'm going to get it. So I, I started going to thrift store. But... The scary thing about Crocs is you don't ever want to get a second-hand Crocs. <laughs> That's dangerous. A second-hand Crocs is dangerous. You never oh. know the foot. Oh, man. The I was ashamed of myself because I, I went I to the thrift store. I got a second-hand Crocs. I had to wash that Crocs for two days. Oh. Oh. I know the, oh. just 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 know the feeling. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, so you, know, you, you made my knees go funny. <laughs> ever since that time, I made a vow, I made a promise to myself I'll never <laughs> get a second hand crocs no more. And Listen. then now Bamberry got you know crocs is going crazy right now with the Polox crocs. I, I like we got this feeling like like we got you know you like you got crackheads, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I and I just feel like Crocs are the staple diet of a crackhead, <laughs> you know, baggy tracksuit bottoms, white socks and Crocs. And I don't want to be that guy walking down the street to just go into the shop with my baggy Crocs. night tracksuit bottoms on, white socks and Crocs, you know, I just, and <laughs> I feel like then I'd have to look at myself and say, Pat, you got to stop. Life, life, <laughs> this is not life. You know, so you don't want to yeah, be a, you I'm don't want to be an hypocrite. <laughs> yeah, I just no, I just Crocs not for me, man. This is not yeah, for I me. I get it, I get it's it. But me. you rather wear a slide than Crocs, though. I see. I see. I don't even wear slides. I'm I'm wow. that guy. I don't wear slides outside. Like so, it's it's it's, it's strictly trainers. Strictly like in my house, I've got things like the pair of gods, mm -hmm. which I wear in the house. I've got some foam runners. Which I wear in the house, and I've got some Yeezy slides which I wear in the house. I just don't wear them outside. Do you have? I've, I've, you you say you got the foam runners, right? I've got foam runners. I've got the. Slides. But there's no, there's literally no difference between the foam runners and the normal, you know, Crocs. 
<laughs> yeah, there is. There is. There is. <laughs> there is. There is. There's a difference. Don't try and put me in that category. Stop you got it. You both have holes in it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. Stop it. There's not one more guy's little loop to hoop on your heel. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, I get. I got you. I yeah, got you. I just I don't wear those kind of things outside. But I think that's just me being old. I just Dude, don't. I, wear I get it. it. You, you know? you're honing to your home style, and that's what it is is about. Yeah. You know, everybody yeah. has different like, like, style. Like, don't be wrong. If you want to do your thing, yeah, do <laughs> you. But don't call me into it. We're not I in know, the same religion. I but I can advertise it to you though. Crocs you can advertise wonderful. what you want. Crocs are wonderful. Just Crocs are wonderful. You have a foam runner. You should try out Crocs. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So, what's your favorite? What's what your favorite silhouette? Except from Air Jordan ones. No, George, Air Jordan ones have never been my favorite. Okay. Same here. Never, I, I, I've never... We're gonna get a lot of eight for this, but it's true. Air no, Jordan listen. ones are not just comf. It's not about the. It's not about the price. It's not comfortable for me. Yeah, I mean, there's that one. I just. I always felt they're just simple trainer. They just they just didn't do nothing for me. My favorite silhouette is the Jordan Fours. Fours, same yeah. here. When it comes to Jordan, it's Fours, yeah. but Fours is not like my favorite silhouette though. But it's oh, okay. Jordan Fours, yeah, yeah. It's Jordan, Jordan Fours. I I like Thirteens. You know, Fives are okay. I love, I love Thirteens too. I, I especially yeah. the Flint. Yeah, you got the you got the three M on it, the reflective and all that. Yeah, I like the breads. You know, I just like that style. Some colors will always make a train look horrible, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, yeah, I, like, favorites are fours. Threes are nice. Don't dig on twos at all. Not I only I have one. I I have one twos and it's a really? low. And I got it on the. You know, when before when the year started, twenty twenty three, I came back on a journey of getting shoes below one hundred. You know right. because. I see a lot of people copying fake shoes and all that. Yeah. So I was like, I want to be different. I want to try to set myself aside. So but I was that's, like, okay. that's cool. I think I think yeah. a lot of people have done that. Said, so, listen, it's getting too much now. Yeah, I was like, much. I was like, well, I will try to do this and I'll try to share it with the family. You know, yeah. so every Saturday I'll be dropping a video on the latest shoe below one hundred. That so what this is this is gonna be like my last question. Sure. Probably let's say so. What because I know you got a lot of things to do. You know, I appreciate you coming up. So, cool. what do you think? The like, let's let's say the Nike brand, Asics, Adidas. You know, something. Because Nike have really eased off on storytelling, which was a big part of the sneaker culture. Now I think they are kind of lazy with storytelling. So, what do you think? Any brand, any sneaker brand can do to make this huge impact to the sneaker culture right now, as it is right now. Like, what are you pissed at? What do you what do you want them to change? And what do you want them to bring back? Okay. Okay, let's start. Let's start with Nike. First thing they need to change is sneaker app. Okay. Yeah, they need which, to change the which, sneaker app. Which they will never do. Is it fantasy? Which they'll never do because it works in their favor, no matter what exactly. they say. No matter exactly. how much fun they give it, they don't really want to change it. It works in their favor. They can't. Mm -hmm. um, you, you're always going to have people got what reminiscing gives a feel of belonging. So they're always going to have trainings where they bring back and, you know, like you remember the first time you saw the training when you were kicking, you think, oh my God, I couldn't afford that. And they'll mm -hmm. do that. What they all need to do, and which hasn't been done since Kanye West, let's be honest, is they need something different. How they do that, I couldn't tell you. You know, I'm not they designer. Need, they not need a new innovation. And they just need something new, but is but what's real, do you know? Not just like we're doing new innovation to try and take your money because we see through that. Mm -hmm. It's not real. Like Kanye West come out and he said, I'm doing a kick, which I want everyone to wear okay. at some point. Here it is. Different, new, like me, hate me. This is my kick. Exactly. You know I mean? And it's comfortable. Yeah going on it and he made it like you said he made it comfortable he got he got the guy who who used design for new balance to come on board and design the kicks with him and you know and he got he got trainer people in there you know nike adidas they rely too much on their old rather than generating yeah, old ways yeah and we're moving on like you said people like 
kids are sitting here now like we don't go out that much so show me something what makes me want to put my feet in it exactly you know like i one of the questions i was like i remember not i grew up watching michael jordan but i remember michael jordan playing i remember michael jordan trainers i remember i know how good he was i've seen him play you know but there's kids out here who didn't even know nike made jordan exactly you know? that thing you know? jordan is a and whole different them, brand what do, why why do you like jordans do you, do you even know know who Michael Jordan is? You know, and you, they don't know. It's just what it is to be have now. So if you can tap into what it is to be now, the new cool, you'll be the new cool. Because you know back I mean? then it was Jordan. Then it was Nike that brought Kai on board when it comes to sneakers. Yes, I remember. And but then, then they were too rigid, weren't they? Anyway, exactly. Not and Kanye, me, you're not letting me be up. me. Yeah, they broke up and he went to Adidas and he showed Nike that, okay, it's over for these athletes. These athletes can't make a lifestyle sneakers no more. It's back to hip-hop now. It's hip-hop yeah. that's making. Because it was it started with hip-hop, yeah. with the Run DMC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. the Adidas then. Yeah, yeah, superstars, you know, yeah. Yeah, superstars. And then Jordan took over the whole stuff. And then Kanye came and be like, okay, I can make it different. Let's do something different. After Kanye, I like don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. When I first saw like the three fifties, what he first released, or the turtle doves, or whatever they were when he first, released, I didn't like him. That's that's Kanye effect. I didn't like him. Any like any him. any any and silhouette he, to, he walks on, you yeah, won't like it. Point, it goes yeah, on you. Got, yeah, and it got to a point where one of my friends bought them, and I said, "What they like?" And he said, "It's one of the most comfortable kits you'll ever wear." I was like, "Really?" And then I started looking at them, you know, and then you like. And that's what made me get into it. If they can do that, that's what's gonna. That's what's gonna be. Yeah, they need to be the new now. Mm, true. Not the old. Not the old then. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I, and I think that's why the Crocs is selling more because no, the Crocs stop, is like, stop, no, no. not talk about Crocs no more. No more. <laughs> stop it. Stop you literally it. said you wear your Yeezys. No, 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 no. Your Yeezy from advertising. runner and slide at home, right? Most of these people that don't care, they wear their I Crocs at home too. <laughs> No but more yeah. advertising on Crocs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Crocs is really killing it, to be honest. They're making hell of money right now. They probably are. Yeah, I know you hate to of, hear it. The health service. I know you hate to hear it, but they're making hell of money. They collab with Balenciaga. They Crocs, I'm not that. advertising you guys. I'm just letting the OG to know how it's Crocs is doing. From, <laughs> that's once. He wants a sponsor from Crocs. Listen to him. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind that's getting a sponsor wants. from Crocs. You see, I didn't hear <laughs> on Crocs. I always wear Crocs. I have like five Crocs. So Crocs, if you're hearing this, five. call out your boy. Five? Yeah, oh I own five. It's, it's, got, it's, it's they, too small. I need to buy yeah. more. I need to come over and do an intervention with you and get you away <laughs> from them. They take <laughs> over your life. I mean, don't get me wrong. That is one thing I like about myself. I have different type of shoes. I got Adidas. Yeah. I got uh, Asics. I got, I got Nike. I got, you know, I got... I got a new balance. I, I'm not like, oh, it's all dunks. Oh, yeah, it's all Jordans. No, I want to try different shoes. Yeah. I want to try different I mean, shoes. Listen, I, I've got no problem with someone who loves a certain silhouette, you know what I mean? And they can talk about it for days, and that's what they like. I've got no problems with that. I'm like, probably like you. I'm just a person. It could be a feeler. If feeler dropped something now and I liked it, I would get it. Yeah, but backtracking to me, I, I never, I, I can't see myself getting a filler. Because <laughs> it's like, I'm going to check the value of my money. Like, if this filler is going for 100, I can easily go to an outlet and well, get a shoe for Nike for 60. Day, it was the, the I know, it was the, I know. You know, I know. but this is what I say. If they, if they drop something now, which, just like Puma did, like when they dropped the one dude, they just done something completely different and put it out there. If I like it, I'll go for it. Yeah, but, in price region. Don't don't put add in for three hundred pound because I'm not true, getting it. True, 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 true. But Fila is like I don't know what's going on with their con complaint. It's not easy to have a shoe brand. Don't get me wrong, but if you've been cool as a shoe brand and you just like just don't care, that's that's what it is to me because they're not making no effort. Puma has been yeah, the other dog mean, for so long, and now got, look at them. I mean, this is the thing about, and I, we, we, I had this conversation with some guys the other day on um, our podcast, our mm -hmm. podcast, 
you've got to keep on innovating else you'll be the blackberry of this of the sneaker industry mm -hmm. that's what it boils mm -hmm. down to so it literally rolls into your last question you just got to keep on innovating true 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 okay. and put i mean fila is still better than reebok because reebok Nike, adidas bought it and then they let it go and yet and yet reebok can be so big reebok was so big I it was stand up. it was I used to yeah. remember, especially in the UK. I used to. Reebok is a UK company. Yeah. Reebok is literally a trainer. <laughs> Listen, it used to be on everything boxing. Like, I, club I, scene, I, yeah. I, I, I do taekwondo. It used to be a taekwondo thing with Adidas. You know? Wow. Yeah, it was up there. It just is what it is, isn't it? Just let but it go. Company, all companies do that, don't they? You know, true, but you just got to keep it innovating. That's why we have to respect Nike, even despite their old BS and all that. They, they still, you know, keep yeah. going and all that. I appreciate you for doing this with me, brother. Hopefully, for... hopefully, if I have enough money <laughs> and I start my own shoe brand, I'll send you my pair of shoes. I'll, I'll, and I'll I promise, waiting. I promise, it won't look like a Crocs. It's gonna look you like a normal be. shoe. I'll send it back. To you. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna look like a normal shoot. Thank you for joining me. Listen, I really thank appreciate you. It. Thank you for having me, man. That's wicked. I, I appreciate it. Have a blessed day. And you. Peace. Yeah. Peace.